So let's find the inverse sine of the sine of negative pi over 8. Uh, the inside here, uh, I'm not going to solve exactly for what it is, but we'll see what I'm doing here. So negative pi over 8 is going to be right about, th this is split up into ninths, this half down here. So this is negative pi over 8, uh, negative 8 over, negative 8 pi over 9. And this section right here is going to be, this is equivalent of pi over 9. So the reason I bring this up here is whatever you got your, for your solution here of sine of that, I don't know what it is, you need a calculator. But I do know that um, for the inverse sine, whatever I get in there for that result down here, it's going to have to be between the bounds of negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So that simply means it's going to have to fall somewhere within here and here. And that means that you can simply bring this over here. No, not exactly that. that. So they get, well, to get those same results, you would have to flip this because sine's only equal to a negative value because it'd be a negative value over here and quadrants three and four. So over here, it's going to be uh, the same value. So in this case, your answer is actually going to be negative pi over nine. That's what the solution's going to spit out. So it's accordance to that because you've got your bounds on your inverse there which is negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. So that's the solution.